Part C for question number one asks, is the rate at which the vehicles arrive at the toll plaza at 6 a.m. or t equals one, increasing or decreasing? Give a reason for your answer. First of all, we're looking at the rate at which it's increasing or decreasing, or we're essentially looking for the change of rate, which means we're looking for, since A is our rate function, we're looking for A prime. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take my A function and I'm going to differentiate it. So differentiating this, I get A prime of T is equal to, I'm going to square root I'm going to differentiate the square root. So this becomes sine to the power of negative one half. I'm just going to clean this up a bit. So I need, I'm applying the chain rule here. So negative one half times, then I need to differentiate the sine, so cosine of 0 0.62t, and then I need to apply the chain rule again, so times 0.62. So there is my derivative, okay? So I can clean that up a little bit, but really I'm just trying to find the derivative value at t equals 1. So I get 225, and I'm going to end up with, maybe I'll write this as a fraction. Okay, in the numerator of my fraction, I'm going to end up with 0.62 cosine of t equals 1, which is 0.62. In the denominator, I'm going to end up with the square root of sine of 0.62. Okay, when I plug in t equals 1, and that's going to be my expression. Okay, so I need to then plug this into my graphing calculator. I'm going to end up with 225 times 0.62 cosine of 0.62. And that's going to be divided by the square root of sine of 0.62. And so I end up with a prime is 148.947. And that's going to be the cars per hour, per hour, per hour. Okay. So since that is positive, the rate of change is increasing at that point. So since the rate of change, so we're going to say the rate of change is increasing. 